Good morning, friends. It's Pastor Arden. I'm so excited to tell you our Bible story today. All this month, we are learning about integrity. Do you guys know what integrity means? It basically means choosing to be truthful in what you say and do. It means being authentic. It means saying what you're going to do and not saying you're going to do one thing, but then doing something else. And so today we're talking about a story from the Bible about a man named Daniel. And you guys might remember Daniel from what he did in the lion's den. But today we're talking about a story that happened years before the lion's den. So Daniel and his friends were Israelites. They lived in the land of Israel. They worshiped God. But one day, the king of Babylon and his armies came through and they conquered Israel. So now they were part of Babylon. And the king, his name was Nebuchadnezzar, he wanted all the Israelites to become like Babylonians. He wanted them to eat the same way he did, to worship the gods he worshiped. He wanted them to give up all of their customs. Well, Daniel and three of his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were chosen to come serve as guards in the king's palace. And they were training to be guards by a supervisor, and his name was Ashpenaz. And one thing that the guards in training were supposed to do was to eat from the king's table. They were supposed to eat all the fancy food that the king ate. But Daniel and his friends, they followed these rules that God had given them about what to eat. And this was not the kind of food they were supposed to eat. And so Daniel went to Ashpenaz and he said, you know, we, we really want to stay true to our God and we don't want to eat this food. But Ashpenaz was worried. He said, oh no, if you guys don't eat this food, you won't be as big and strong as all of the other guards in training. And that'll look bad on me. People will think I did a really bad job training you. So Daniel had an idea. Daniel said, okay, how about you give us 10 days? We'll do an experiment. For 10 days, me and my friends, we'll just eat vegetables and water, the stuff that God wants us to eat. And all the other guards in training, they can eat from the king's fancy food. And at the end of 10 days, we'll see if we are so much weaker than everyone else who ate the fancy food, then we'll go ahead and we'll eat it too. So they did that. So for 10 days, Daniel and his friends ate vegetables and water while all the other guards in training ate the fancy food. And at the end of the 10 days, Daniel and his friends were just as strong, if not stronger, than all of the other guards. They had proven that they could still follow God and follow the rules God had given them and work for the king of Babylon. And so for many years, they served as guards in the king's temple and palace because they had made this deal. And this just shows us that Daniel and his friends, they wanted to live with integrity. They didn't want to pray to God, but then not follow all of God's rules and eat the fancy food when they knew it was wrong. And so they had worked out a way to live with integrity, a way to be authentic and truthful. And so sometimes we might have to do that too. Sometimes there might be people who want us to do things that we know that God doesn't want us to do. And we might have to say, hey, you know what? I'm really sorry, I can't do that because of the way that I wanna live, the way that God calls me to live. We have to make choices and realize that if we say we're gonna do something, we gotta follow through with that and not do something different. We don't need to do something and make a mistake and then lie about it. None of those are things or ways to live with integrity. And that's not what God wants for us. God wants us to live with integrity, to be truthful, and to live and do the things just like Jesus taught us. So will you guys pray with me? Dear God, thank you for the story of Daniel, which shows us how important it is to live authentically, to be true to ourselves and not just try to fit in with other people when we know that's not what we should do. God, we ask you to help us to be strong and to live with integrity too. In your name we pray, amen. All right, my friends, I hope you have a really fun time doing your activity this morning, and then I will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye.